I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Phil Green. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Monday, September 30th. Thanks to the return of Active Aging Week, we're feeling invigorated. And on the docket today, we're meeting up with David Lee to learn how to make a delicious flatbread appetizer. An appetizer. A flatbread appetizer. Okay. Do this as quick and easy as possible. That's so good. Adam Hines is giving us the latest update on the progress being made to the Trivi Arts Center. You know, Dave and I would just like to give you an update of where we are uh, with the project currently and uh, hopefully you can hear the trucks and everything going on around us. Plenty of activity. Ashley Robin is here to talk about an amazing culinary expedition that will unleash your inner chef. And we're tugging on some heartstrings with an all new Shell Point love story. What did I think of it? Well, I liked his Irish brogue. We met in church, got married in church. But first, we're swinging for greatness as part of our look back on this day in history. It was on September 30th, 1972, when Pittsburgh Pirates great Roberto Clemente would earn his 3,000th hit in the final at-bat of his career. The Puerto Rican-born Clemente was a pioneer for Latin American baseball players in his 18 seasons. Roberto would be the first position player from Latin America or the Caribbean to win a World Series, a National League MVP, and a World Series MVP. He would also win 12 straight gold gloves and be a 15-time All-Star. However, Clemente was more known for his humanitarian efforts, and it was on a relief mission to deliver aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua in 1972 that his plane would crash and Clemente would die at only 38. The Pirates immediately retired his number, and Major League Baseball would grant him immediate enshrinement in the Hall of Fame, ensuring the legacy of Roberto Clemente would live on forever. Tonight, grab a seat in the Social Center at 645 for the return of the Monday Classic Movie. Join your friends and neighbors for a showing of the all-time classic Sunset Boulevard. This American film noir stars Gloria Swanson as an aging star of the silent film era who hires a young screenwriter played by William Holden to orchestrate her movie comeback. However, as the former starlet dives deeper into madness, the two's relationship will develop into something dangerous. You will quickly understand why this movie is one of the top features on the American Film Institute's top 100 movies of all time. Bring your popcorn and find a seat in the Social Center tonight for a showing of the 1950 classic Sunset Boulevard. Things are starting to pick up with the construction at the Trivi Arts Center. We tracked down Adam Hines for a new update on the progress of Shell Point's latest amenity.